Hello everyone, welcome to another video. A few days ago, I did a video asking what you guys wanted to see more of, what you guys wanted to see in general, and what kind of specific things I can do uh, on this channel. Now, one very interesting uh, comment came up. Um, I currently don't have any signal to get a screenshot and show it, but editing me will try and show it probably. But um, basically it was asking uh, a bunch of different questions, a bunch of different video topics, but the main one that I want to focus on today is why or like what my hobbies and interests are and why I like them. So I thought, you know, this is a nice area to kind of like do a bit of self-reflection I guess. Um, it's just a nice peaceful area in general, um, quite quiet, so that's why I'm here. Um, and I thought I would talk to you guys about why I do what I do, and just what I do in general. So, I guess, like, first things first, YouTube, like, that is what you are watching me for, you know, is my YouTube videos, I hope, unless you're just watching me through my window, in which case, please stop that, or at least knock and say hi, you know, I prefer that. Um, anyway, yeah, so... For YouTube, right? For me wanting to be a YouTuber, there's a couple of influences, um, if I'm being honest, or like why I make YouTube videos. Um, one of the main ones uh, is Jack Guy. You know, I think I did a video talking about like my favourite YouTubers and stuff, and he, like, just seeing his videos, like, uh, from years ago, you know, it's always been fun to watch, always been entertaining, and then seeing some of the stuff that he's done because of YouTube, uh, you know, when he does his charity live streams, or, um, you know, if he goes on a trip to Japan or something, gets to see movie premieres, interview people, all of this amazing stuff, and it's something that I would like to do in the future, you know? If I ever grow my channel to be big enough, I would like to do all of that stuff, you know, do charity streams and meet all these amazing people. Um, so yeah, he's a main influence for that. Um, but there's also a couple of other people, um, kind of hard to think off the top of my head, but uh, Ash and Flash. Um, just seeing him when he was at like, his first 100 subscribers, um, and then when he had the collab with Just Do Good um, and Just Do Good himself, you know, growing such a big channel being such a big part of the LEGO community um, just by doing his own thing, you know, it's amazing to see uh, all of that growth and that's something that I just think I want, to be honest um, <clears throat> I think they're definitely one of the main ones and now you know, since we're talking about LEGO and the LEGO community, why not talk about that? Because, you know, I am a huge LEGO fan, got the second channel, uh, at this point it's the second channel, um, Kaki Microbe, you know, I do a bunch of LEGO videos uh, and meetings that focus on the LEGO because that's what the channel is about. Um, yeah, that is a channel that's been going longer than this one, but I feel has also had its own things going on, you know, um, you know, LEGO is something that I've always been a huge fan of, it's, or for as long as I can remember, I remember there was a time when I hated it, um, it's weird to think about now, but like, when the Toy Story 3 sets were being released, that's when I started to get into it, because uh, I was quite young then, and I was all Toy Story thing, you know, um, and Harry Potter, uh, when that was in its, like, second reboot, I guess, when they had started to introduce the coloured faces and all of that stuff. Um, the first set that I got for Harry Potter, just going on a bit of a tangent, was the, um, the Dobby escape thing. I'll show a picture of it if I can remember. Um, but yeah, that was something that I think is kind of underrated. Um, or like, 
I've kind of stepped away from with this channel. Um, it's still a massive part of my life, you know, I still do Lego videos and stuff. But there's been a couple of times where... Fucking wasp. Uh, no, I'm not a fucking wasp, it is a fucking wasp. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things with Lego, you know, where it's just... It inspires so much creativity, and I just love it. And I think watching the Lego designer interviews, my first one being the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, I believe, um, where they were talking about how they moulded all the heads and the design that went into the figures and the sets and the shell razor, I think, something like that. You know, it's all stuff that inspired me to want to work for Lego, and that's something that I hope to do in the future. If this channel doesn't work out, or like if YouTube doesn't work out, um, but engineering is another one, you know, similar lines to Lego, it's another thing where I would be happy to have a job in it, and I really want a job in it. Um, whether or not that's electronic engineering, you know, I design a lot of circuits and stuff in college, it's something that I have quite a lot of fun with, and I reckon you can have a lot of fun with. Um, one of the main things for that was the Hacksmith, another YouTuber, um, Jesus Christ, a lot of this is from YouTube, isn't it? Um, yeah, uh, the Hacksmith, seeing him and like, Jay Lay's video, making these amazing things with, like, from nothing pretty much, and it's all just really cool to watch, and kind of inspires me to want to make stuff. So, another thing that, like, inspires me in engineering is my dad. Uh, he isn't an electronic engineer, but he designs kitchens and stuff. And I think that's something that always seems quite interesting. Um, and I think that's something that I think could be fun. I don't know if I'd design kitchens. I don't think I would want to be designing people's homes and stuff. But it's something that is quite interesting to hear about. So yeah, that's another thing. Um, I'm a huge nerd. Uh, Star Wars, DC, Marvel everything, pretty much. Um, at least they're the three main ones, um, as well as Transformers and Harry Potter. The main reasons I'm so heavily into that stuff is just from the movies. Um, I remember my first time watching like Iron Man 1, uh, or just first time watching Iron Man, um, as well as the Iron Man Armored Adventures that was an old cartoon show. Um, th that was a big one for me. Uh, I always love watching that. Um, I don't really know where a lot of my interests and hobbies come from, you know? I think... It's always weird to talk about this stuff, because I don't know where I really get everything from. It's just kind of a mix match of different things that I've learned from a bunch of different people and a bunch of influences and stuff. Jesus Christ, I'm getting all philosophical. I don't know where I came from. Um, I don't know why I like what I like, but it's certainly interesting to think about, and... You know, after recording this video, I think I might just sit on this tree for a bit and just think about all of that stuff, and then if I come up with a better answer to anything, then I'll record some bits, or re-record some bits. But, um... Yeah, I... I obviously have some more hobbies and interests. Um... You know, I quite like cooking. At some point I wanted to be a teacher, and in fact I might do an entire separate video talking about careers that I've wanted. Or want. Um, but I think that's for a separate video. i uh, sorry for keep on looking off to the side of the camera. Uh, there's some people playing golf near me, and I've kind of been watching it. You go, Jerry. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video guys. I definitely need to do a bit of thinking now. Jesus Christ, you guys have got me in a philosophical secrets of the universe mood. Um, I'm gonna think for a while and then go and edit it and upload this video. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!